welcome to dealing tutorials today we shall see how to troubleshoot for recording stop issue so first we will check by going to record state so we will click on channel status once we click on channel status uh, we have to click on record info recording info now we can see over here that our status is stopped now when we see that the record status is stopped this can be multiple issues so first issue that we will try to check is about the hard disk so when we check with the hard disk things to be checked for the hard disk is so we need to check whether the hard disk is vibrating so when we check that the hard disk is vibrating I am not feeling any vibrations from the hard disk so I will check the other things to be checked is the power cord from the motherboard to the hard disk also the SATA cable now since when I check the hard disk is not vibrating I suspect that the issue could be the adapter so what I will do is I will try replacing an adapter and I will check whether the hard disk is getting detected or not so now I'll replace the adapter with another adapter so now I've replaced the hard the adapter so once I replace the adapter let me check whether in channel status in recording info now it is showing open so once the status is showing open that means the recording is taking place so we will just verify by viewing the playback And we can see a blue icon over here which states that the recording is taking place. So here we can see that the recording is taking place. The next, next issue that we can face is that the single channel recording is not taking place. Now we need to check a few troubleshooting steps that we can try. First thing that we need to view on the screen is that we are not getting a green color cassette player sort of icon which shows that indicates that the recording is taking place. So what we need to do is we need to right click, go to main menu, go to disk. In disk we need to verify that the hard disk status is showing as normal and it is already formatted. Next thing that we need to check is also that the hard disk is showing once after the hard disk becomes full that the hard disk full should be on overwrite whether the hard disk is on sleep mode or not and our auto delete files should be on never so once all these three parameters have been checked and everything is good to go then we'll check the advanced option in advanced option our group which is selected is one and the camera which is not recording we can see over here that it is not recording because it has been switched off over here so we will click on channel number one and click on apply once we click on apply and the settings get saved we can see that the green color cassette player icon is visible on the screen so once we double click on it we can see that over here on the bottom of it of the screen it is visible now when we go to main menu and in channel status we can see that the record info is open so that means the recording is taking place the next troubleshooting step that we can check is when we see that the icon is not visible on the screen we can click on main menu and in main menu then we will go to our so we need to click on record and once we go on record and we can check over here that our normal recording motion detection and alarm has not been set hence the recording is not taking place so I will set quickly set the motion the motion detection alarm and normal recording okay to set the normal recording we'll just have to click and drag then we'll click on motion click and drag and we'll click on alarm click and drag and click on apply once we do that we can see that the recording is taking place 
the other troubleshooting step when we check over here and we can find that the recording is not taking place we can check is we can go to quick record and we can see over here that camera number one recording has been stopped so we'll click it to schedule and we'll click on ok and once we click on ok we can see that the green cassette icon has been visible on the screen which says that the recording is taking place.